Hi, Keith Dennis here to show you how to make a comic strip in Toonlet. Toonlet.com is a website that lets you create your own comic strips. It's fun and ridiculously easy to use. So easy, in fact, that it doesn't really require a video tutorial on how to do it. But here's one anyways. You can watch another potentially needless tutorial on how to make your own Toonlet characters. Hey, this is Keith Dennis here to show you how easy it is to create a character in Toonlet. But you don't actually have to make your own characters. If you wanted to try out a comic strip idea, Toonlet provides some pre-made characters for you. Click Make a Comic to get going. If it's your first time, you'll go right to this Make a Comic screen after you've created your first character. Click on Choose Character. All these guys are people I made, but down here at the bottom, there's an eclectic collection of characters, each with a variety of moods. But I think the fun in Toonlet is creating your own characters and strips. We'll come back to characters in a little bit. Here on the Make a Comic screen, you'll see four blank panels. Each panel has the ability to hold one character, one dialog bubble, and one text box, which can be used like a thought bubble or a description or something like that. You can also select a background color for the frame here. Your Toonlet comic can be any length. If you only want it to be one frame, all you have to do is fill in the first frame and leave the others blank. The finished product will only show off the frames that you use. If you need to use more than four frames to tell your story, just click down here on the Add Panels button. Again, Toonlet will only use the frames that you fill in. So if you want to do a four panel strip, you could fill in the top four panels. Or you could fill in these two and two from the second line to make a little four frame box. You can even mix it up and do a three, four, three, and it'll format itself accordingly. For my strip today, I'm going to need 12 frames, which I'll do three rows of four. I'll start by writing in all the dialogue first. You don't have to do this. You can go one frame at a time, writing, choosing the character, and the background color. But I find that writing in all the text first helps me compose the strip. Also, I think it's a little easier to do all the variations of each character together. I'll skip ahead and show you what I mean. I've got all my dialog bubbles filled in, and now I'll go click the Choose Character box from this frame here, and pick one of my main characters. I call this guy Marty. Since I've been making Toonlet comics for a while, I've amassed a large library of moods for him. So, typically, making a strip with him in it just requires me to scroll through these here and pick the right mood for each frame that he's in. So, I will pick all of my Martys. The same goes for his wife, Mary Jane. Usually, she just reacts to the stupid things that Marty says, so I don't have quite so many different variations of her. But I'll go ahead and pick out all my Mary Janes. So now I'm going to start using the waitress character I created while making that other tutorial video. As you can see, I only have one mood for her right now, so I'll put her in this frame. Now I'll go down here to her next frame and select her again, but I want her to have a different mood. So I'll click Edit Character, which brings her up, then I'll change her eyebrows and her mouth, and I'll add an arm from Josh Kemble's pack that has this little finger point. I'll give her a new mood name of, I don't know, pointing, and click save. I've got to do one more variation of her for the final frame, so I'll just skip ahead to where I've done all that. Once the meat of the strip is all done, I go through and pick all the background colors for each frame. My wife, my real wife, tells me that I have no sense of color, so I let her pick out a couple of shades of green to use for my standard background. And usually, I just repeat those, but occasionally I'll use yellows, blues, and reds to punctuate different moods for the strip. I think only the last frame here needs a red, but this is just what I do. You can do whatever you want to make your strip look cool. Finally, you just have to add a title, so I'll type it in here. In the link space, you can add a URL to your own website or any other website that has anything to do with what your strip is about. Here, you can check to automatically capitalize all the panel text. I like to do that because it feels more comic strippy to me, but it's just a personal preference. Now, just click Make Comic. The Toonlet robots will do their thing, 
and now you have your own comic strip. Look it over. If you see something you don't like, you can click the Edit button and go back and make corrections. You can do this at any time, even if the strip is months old. If you want to see the finished version of this strip, just go to tunelet.com slash creator slash Keith Dennis. Depending on when you see this, you may have to scroll back through a few strips to find it, which you can do by clicking this back arrow. And just like that, you can be a published cartoonist. Give it a try. You don't have to make strips that are funny, like Dilbert. They can be not at all funny, like Family Circus. They can be whatever you want them to be. That's the beauty and the fun of it. Toonlet, what's your story? I'm Keith Dennis, and I thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.